Hello YouTubers, beer geeks, and beer hounds alike. Bill here. We're going to do a beer review. This is a hair of the dog beer review. All right. Uh, last night was my Saturday night. Got a little happy, so I woke up. Felt like I needed a little uh, hair of the dog action. So we're going to go with um, this one here. And uh, it's called Refuge, Refugee Brewery. And um, let's see where they're from. Temecula, California. I've never heard of this brewery. Never seen any of their beers till recently. So I went ahead and grabbed it. So first time for this brewery and this beer. And this beer comes in at 7.7% .7 alcohol by volume and 77 IBUs. Pretty dank. Uh, and it's it's an IPA. And it says it's um, grapefruit IPA. And that's what the label looks like. I picked this up at Total Wine and More for like five bucks for this one pint. So um, let's see if there's any other literature that might be brewed with grapefruit. So it's probably got total grapefruit action. Um, Temecula. Mm, not saying anything else really. drink by 531.21 so it's probably a couple months old let's get it cracked open and see what we got here this ought to fix me right up right oh yeah west coast style no work today so hair of the dog if you don't know what hair of the dog is um when you uh, have a little hangover and you use uh, the thing that gave you the hangover to get rid of the hangover so we have a monster frothy creamy silky head got some bubbles popping up in the middle there and we have a crystal clear amber color really nice looking West Coast style here spot-on amber really nice looking beer actually Real good looking. So yeah, really good looking amber uh, head we've got going here. Donut action on top. Looking good. Grapefruit IPA. All right, from Temecula, California. Refugee Brewery. Huh. We'll see. Pretty nice looking can. Got all the information nice and neat on the can. Very good job. Very good job. They even put the, the, the drink by date right there in its own little space. Very clearly printed. They did a good job. I like it when they pay attention to details, you know. The only thing uh, they didn't put on there is, um, you know, what they used to brew it, but that's okay. I'm not a brewer, I'm a drinker. I don't need to know. Unless I decide to become a brewer someday, then uh, that'll all change. Let's get the aroma. Okay, I'm getting like a bready kind of a malt sweetness right up front. Not getting a lot of hops. A little bit, a little bit, but really not really getting a lot of hops. I'm just gonna go for the hit. Cheers. Okay. Not a lot of grapefruit. I mean, I'm getting some hops, but uh, it's kind of like a piney kind of hop actually. pretty tasty though pretty dank too but uh, as far as like a lot of aroma no but the taste is uh, definitely like a piney earthy I guess there's like grapefruit kind of but it doesn't taste like a real grapefruit it's like hoppy
pretty well though pretty well made beer okay I'm getting a little bit of that grapefruit now hmm it's hard it's kind of a delayed reaction really pillowy nice head retention there mm, that's very well made beer uh, no raw alcohol notes, no booziness or nothing like that. It's got a medium mouthfeel. No lingering, uh, you know, generic bitterness. Uh, there is a little bit of lingering, um, like flavor hop uh, bitterness going on, and that would be the grapefruit. Very nice. Temecula is a pretty neat little city, little town. I remember uh, I used to live in Riverside, Paris, and uh, Temecula was just a small little town back then. And now it, it's expanded to this really neat place to go visit. They got some pretty cool breweries out there. It's a very tasty beer. They're doing some good work over there in Temecula. So we're getting, uh, definitely getting some pine kind of some uh, hoppiness that's kind of grapefruity and then there's some earthy spices in there and then also the nice bready malt character that's coming through definitely a hop forward beer though very easy drinking tasty we'll swirl it one more time then we'll wrap it up Yeah, nice, uh, nice uh, hop profile here in this beer. Cheers. Yeah, very tasty. They said they brewed it with uh, grapefruit, but I, I, don't, I really don't taste like real grapefruit. I just taste like the hops that kind of mimic the grapefruit. But uh, it could just be me, you know. Sometimes uh, the old schnoz and... The old buds, taste buds, they're, they, you know, they don't work 100%. Rip it. Excuse me. I'm sure uh, a lot of beer reviewers have that issue from time and time again. Nice maltiness in this beer. This very well made beer. Yeah, right. Well, pretty impressed. Very tasty, very well made. Refugee Brewery, Temecula, California. So on a scale of one to five stars, two and a half being C average. Uh, this is definitely way above an average IPA. I'm gonna give this puppy a 4.3. It's damn good, very damn good, tasty uh, beer. Uh, you know, uh, what's impressing me the most of this is they, they didn't overdo the grapefruit. That's that's nice, they, they kept it in check, so. Good job. Very nice beer. Mm. Very tasty. So 4.3 it is. That's my story. I'll stick with that. And uh, hit the like and subscribe. That would be totally awesome. And I'll give this puppy a horns up. Great tasting beer. All right. Thanks for stopping by and we'll catch you later. See ya.